Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start out my coverage of Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition. It is by Digital Dreams Entertainment, LLC, and originally released on October 21st, 2017. But just recently, we had the Dynasty Edition upgrade, which basically allows you to control like every aspect of your roster, uh, leveling up your characters, all sorts of stuff. A lot more control and... It's just, it's a lot of fun. I kind of got this on a whim because I'm not really into like football games or really American football, if you want to call it something, uh, in general. So yeah, this is very arcadey. It's very different. As you can see, there's like undead, there's robots, there's demons, there's all sorts of crazy things out there. Werewolves, skeletons, and you're murdering the enemy team. You have like crazy moves you can do. It's it's just. It is a lot of fun. It's not as uh, rigid or strict as a lot of, you know, the more simulated football games are. So, yeah, and I remember playing back in the day Mutant League football. I believe it was on the Sega Genesis. I had a blast with that. Anyway, that's that's pretty much all I have to say. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hop into Dynasty mode. Essentially, it allows you more control over everything that's going on. You can control who's on your roster. You can control where the experience goes, which characters to level up, so on and so forth. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend you check it out if you are a football fan or if you're not and you still kind of like, just, just check the game out, guys and gals. It's really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. You check it out. You watch it. And we continue. I'm shooting for like maybe one game a week, something along those lines. And we'll try to have each episode as one game. Anyway, I'm going to start a new dynasty. And that is where we're going to begin. Okay, we get to choose our team. And we have the Monster Conference on the left and the Mutant Conference on the right. I think I'm going to go with the same group that I was playing as before, but we can just kind of shoot through all these real quick. I'm going to read through the names. They are some somewhat funny. We have the Blitzburg Steelheads. We have the Cracksome Skull Jugulars. We have the Crokeland Invaders, the Full Metal Mayhem. Galaxy Chaos, that's one that I unlocked for winning a season. The Insane Cults, I think. The Carcass City Creeps, Leveland Burns, the Mile High Chronic, the Nuked London Hatriots. Um, apparently, we have a locked team there. I'm not sure whomst they would be, but they exist. And finally, the Tokyo Terminators. All right, and then on the Mutant Conference, we have the Cardinal Sins, Deadlanta Vultures, the Grim Bay Attackers, the Philadelphia Evils. The Malice Hellboys, Micro Hard Mutilators, Midway Mutants, Motor City Maniacs, the New Gorleans Zombies, the New Yuck Tyrants, and what is that, the Scarolina Panzers, or Scarolina Panzers, I'm not sure, either way, a lot of parody names, a lot of uh, stuff, it's good, I, I kind of went through and I found one that actually had kind of, um, we'll say like a grouping of all the different species, so the Full Metal Mayhem seem to have the most different things that you can play as. So that's what I ran with. I think I'm going to run with them again. I'm at least a little bit familiar with them. So we're going to hop in and we're going to begin. But let's get a little bit of info on our team here. The Mayhem is the newest team to be selected into the league, but it's not clear how they came to be. Rumors persist this is a supernatural team made up of undead and soon-to-be-dead rock stars, while other whispers suggest advanced cloning techniques with daily blood transfusion and roid rage booster injections. What is clear is that the Mayhem is one of the most popular and fierce teams in the league, and they will rock you. Alright, we have Ziggy Starburster, Shreddy Von Hayden, Malice, and a Lizard King as the notable players. We Every every team starts off as a 40 overall, so we're going to have a, a pretty massive disadvantage for the vast majority of the games. But we will try to do some cool stuff to get our rating up a little bit higher. And essentially, this is what we're sort of playing for. We are playing for, well, we're in Dynasty mode, and we're trying to get through the season, do well enough that we make it to the playoffs, win the playoffs, and then, of course, win the Mayhem Bowl. That is the goal, the plan, the hope, the dream. I have been signed. I hope you like throwing mattresses out of hotel windows because you're the new general manager and coach of the Full Metal Mayhem. Owners Spike Ripper and Ebola Sicker are counting on you to take this expansion team filled with dead and near-dead rock stars 
and turn them into a functioning unit. There are a lot of egos to manage, and most don't even know what football is. But that's why you are here. You'll be starting at the bottom of the league and be given three seasons to compete in the Mayhem Bowl. If you fail, you will be fired. If you succeed, you'll earn a multi-million dollar bonus, along with a contract extension. And, of course, a chance to build a dynasty. And you can finally record that Funk Polka album that you've been so eagerly wanting to do. All right, so our goal right now is to complete, or sorry, compete in the Mayhem Bowl by the end of Season 3. So, yeah, let's, let's get to it. Oh, actually, we're starting off as an overall 45. But we all started off as overall 40. Well, there we go. Apparently, my mere inclusion has brought us up. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into management. By the way, I kept all the settings on default. I actually don't know what the difficulty setting is right now. It's probably honestly set to like rookie or normal or something. So I guess we'll we'll see. I, I Like I said, I didn't change any of the settings. I just went with whatever was available. Okay, so real quick, we can look at like statistics. We have nothing. Nobody has anything. There's no point in that standings nobody's played a game yet but again this is how you can check to see how you're doing versus everybody else uh the schedule i guess we get to see who we're uh facing or something oh these are our opponents so the orcs of hazard are our first opponents and then we have the carcass city creeps which is a pretty strong team and i think the little at symbols means that we're at their field so anyway we can practice, not going to do that. Team scouting, don't care about. But we are going to go into our management. We're going to go take a quick look at our roster. Everybody starts at a 45. I'm actually very confused. I thought they all started at a 40, but it's okay. Um, everybody starts at a 45. We have five quarterbacks, five running backs, six receivers, four bruised receivers, six guards on our offense. Our defense has six blitzers, four enforcers, six coverbacks, six line bashers, and five safeties. And then we have the kicker, the punter, and the Santa Maria. No, uh, the, the burn returners. So essentially, what all this means is, obviously, you only ever have one quarterback in at a time. And it's going to be Ziggy Starburster is going to be my, my, my dude. Uh, running back, I believe you have two. You might only have one. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, either way, you have enough characters, enough of each group or class or position, if you will, to deal with losses because there will be injuries there will be deaths and you'll be able to resurrect people between uh, games and such as you see down there it's 400,000 to resurrect we start with 190 million 500,000 all right so there is some stuff we can do not going to do that yet what we are going to do is go back in here we're going to do a player trade to start off with and one thing that I would very very much like is not a new quarterback not a new quarterback at all. I would like a new punter. <laughs> M. Fat Lardy. Um, yeah, why not? And we're going to switch out Scale or Scarly. Blob Scarly. Yeah. And unfortunately, they're not going to accept the trade because he's just getting too much money where he's at. So we're going to have to compensate him. Two million. Probably not going to accept. We might have to go up to four. Rejected. All right, four million. They're gonna take it. So there we go. We just spent a big chunk of our money, but again, we have 190 million. As long as we don't have a negative budget of 25 million, we're, we're feeling pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sign some free agents. And again, I'm gonna leave the quarterbacks alone and the running back. I'm fine with as well. The receivers. I'd like to get some better players if at all possible. So I think I'm gonna bring in a scary lice because why not? He looks like he is pretty darn good. And we're going to have to cut one of our receivers. I'm not a big fan of the Skelly Boys, so Deddy Mercury is probably going to be the guy that I drop. So I'm going to drop Deddy Mercury. He is gone. We're going to have a Scaly Lice coming into the fray. We're going to once again get another two free agents. We're bringing up our overall by doing this as well. All right, receivers. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a solid... Mean Joe machine. A solid blitzer is never a bad thing. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab that guy. And again, 
Skelly Boy is not a massive fan of. But I think I'm going to get rid of uh, Bombum. Bomb We're going to get rid of Tron Bombum. And yeah, it's just going to be better overall. So there we go. And finally, our last free agent. We're spending some money, but hopefully it will allow us to win some stuff. I want a returner to be top of the line. Devil Fester. I was hoping to get a ooh, Zyga Speedball. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with our boy here, Dante Mall. Yeah, sure, why not? Devil Fester. We're gonna get rid of Lou. Lou did well for me. See, I didn't do any of this stuff when I first started in my uh, solo playing around. I didn't do any of that stuff. One of the other things that you need to know is every single week, and you should do this every single chance you get, go into your roster. You can spend up to $1.5 million adding experience or stats to your character, and each character can have up to 400000 with a total of $1.5 million per week. So we're going to go into our quarterback. Super important character, obviously. And we're going to go here, and we're going to increase his throwing range, because that's all he can do right now. So these three things right here, they explain down at the bottom what they all do. Throwing range, intelligence is going to basically allow us to have more plays, and increase the playbook, and formations, and things of that nature. But we're going to focus on throwing range right now, because we want our boy to be pretty good, and we're spending as much as we can. And that's all that we can spend. If he gets hurt, Mick Dagger is going to be our next guy. But I, I'm okay with leaving him alone for right now. So what we're going to do next is running back. Shreddy Von Hayden. It is, I find, much easier to run plays in this game than to pass. Not always, but that's generally the consensus. So I'm going to go with break tackle and jump hurdle. And, hmm. Speed apparently got unlocked at some point. I totally didn't see that. Speed is very important. That will be the one that we max first with him. I think it came unlocked once we hit... I don't know what specifically, but yeah. So speed will be next up on our to-do list for him. Um, we have our receivers. I'm just I'm looking around at whom I'd like to... Alright, I think I'm going to go into our defense... And there's a dude that I like to play. I think it's in this group. Nope, it's the next group. Lizard King. The Lion Basher. He, he, this, is, this is my boy right here. I generally pick him when I'm doing defense to do things. So that's kind of like he's my go around and do stuff type person. He's relatively quick, and that's one of the reasons that I, I like playing as him. All right, that's fine. And I suppose... We can go to our ball returner, and let's just take a look at what he's... I think he's done. He's the overall 100. I don't think we have to upgrade him at all. Like, he's got the three super important things. All the rest isn't that important. Like, speed is super important. Hands and all the other stuff. So really, it's the star stuff that you use, like, everyday type situation. So he's fine. Uh, our punter is an overall 53. I feel like that's pretty low, isn't he? Much higher? Oh, overall 97. Sorry, I, I read something wrong there. Alright, so kick range, none of those are important. The punt range and the punt talent are important. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dump some money into this, and that should be it. Okay, so we've done all that we can do, and now we're going to start our very first game in week one up against... The Orcs of Hazard win the Mayhem Bowl with the Tokyo Terminators is the way to unlock them. They're actually a locked team right now, so this is cool. We're playing up against a locked team. Did you know that was a possibility? Well, this is it, Coach. Our first game together, even though expectations are low for us, the team is going to go out there and play our hearts out for you. Providing no one rips them out first. A lot of funny commentary and stuff, guys and gals. There is some rough language, so be aware of that. Alright, we're going to hop in, we're going to start, we're just going to skip a lot of the stuff. The mascot is the scariest thing about these losers, and need I remind you, it's just a dude in a weird suit. You can kill him first if you want. Alright, so it looks like we are kicking first, which I'm totally okay with. That means we get the ball in the second half. 
new coach and a GM. Uh, a why are you? you you're not today. our punter. Why is he our punter? Well, okay. That was a bad oh, kick. kick. That was an awful kick. Well, at least we murder him. And then you can start attacking and doing some damage once you take guys down. All right, so we have some cool dirty tricks that we can do. I'm going to start off with one right now. Just I'm going to bribe the ref. You'll see how this plays out. Oh, Lizard King. There we go. Oh. Oh, oh gosh. Apparently he had a lot of uh, a lot of gas there. That must have been one of his special moves. Uh, we're going to go with goal line and we're going to kind of blitz him. There it is. Took him down. Oh, he's fighting back. All right. Um, no, hold on. I do want to do something here. Special teams. Oh, it was our kicker. Oh, I I got the wrong guy. I never used my punter. I'm sorry. Well, I made a mistake. I I don't know why in my head I did it the opposite way. It's fine. Uh, is it the kicker for field goals? I didn't think he was the one that actually punted it down the field. Huh. Well, that's fine. Doesn't matter. All right, let's go ahead and, and take this. Uh, we'll do right blitz. Why not? And we just sacked the QB. It was good. I missed the attack. It's not great, but it is what it is. And it will be okay, I dare say. Possibly. All right, so we're probably going to go ahead and do the return here. So we're going to go special teams and punt return. And we're going to cover it. All right, here we go. And boom. Turned on the afterburners. Feeling pretty good. And I dare say we're going to make it all the way. This is why this is one of the characters that you want to go and grab right away. If you're going to go ahead and pull out a trade or whatever the case is, definitely get a returner that's quick and high up on the skill. It takes quite a while to build those up. They don't generally get to do that much, so they don't gain that much in the way of uh, experience and stuff. All right, we're going to go with a QB sneak, I think. I like this. They're going for two. All right. And there it is. For an easy two points. two point, point conversion. What? Yeah. For sharing, Ricks. I should build a house in the end zone since I'm here so often. Are you though? All right, we're gonna kick left again. Oh, I feel so bad that I I, I got the wrong guy. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does. That wasn't a bad kick. Boom! And we even took him out with our with our kicker, which is not bad. Okay, we still might have the ref bribed right now. So per half, you only get to use one of your skill, your uh, special skills once each. I'm gonna try the thunderclap. It never seems to work for me, so it makes me a little bit sad. But essentially, what's gonna happen is whoever has the ball is going to get yeah is gonna get shocked. And lose the ball, and they're dead now. But the problem is, I can never recover the ball. I have not been able to do it. Bad bumpy is bad, sure, but whatever. Um, I think we're gonna go with cover. The bump and stun. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, is he gonna run it? He might. Oh. He picks up a two. He got a little bit there. Oh, we've almost taken out their running back or their their um, their boy, their QB. So, Third and four. rough stuff. Oh, no, they made it. Boo! All right, so it's the end of the first quarter. There, we're up a little bit. However. We do have the strawberry fields. It's going to be a bit weird. So just prepare for this. I didn't have the guy I wanted selected at the start, so that kind of made things a bit challenging. 
Basically what that does for any of the normal players, if it's used against you, it will make everything go backwards. So when you're pressing to run forward, you're actually going to be running backwards. Left is right, so on and so forth. All right, well, we got a little bit there, but not too, too much. All right, goal line. Blitz again. We got Lizard King. All right, he's going to run for this, I believe. Oh, he, he's, he's got a chainsaw. He's going to be doing some damage to us. All right. We're going to try and kill him off. There it is. All right, so we killed him off first off, and we got him a penalty because he made the first down. We bribed the ref. So they're now going to murder the ref. If they're smart, and, and they should be. They should always be. And here it comes. Yeah, the ref's dead. So they massacre the ref, which gets them. So they, they got a penalty of 10 yards. Then they just got another penalty of 15 yards. So that really, really set them back. It's the third and 29 at this point. So despite me not being able to handle the chainsaw guy, super easy. We're actually feeling pretty good. Oh, no. Oh. oh, I made so many mistakes there. I could switch to the guy I wanted to, and then, yeah, that wasn't good. Um, Pretty good chance that they're going to go ahead and punt the ball again. So we're going to go for a punt return. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. <laughs> from, from knitting on the sidelines. I like it. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. All right, I think we're just going to be able to run this in again. Oh, he managed to close the distance. All right. It's okay. All right, we have just a little bit left in this uh, quarter, so we're going to try the Sonic Blast here. Oh, no, they murdered my... Oh. They just killed off our, our star quarterback, or not really a star quarterback, and they wasted our thing. But we can time warp that, and it's fine. So essentially, that play didn't happen, so we're back to the beginning. Oh, I should have. Oh, no, I had the wrong quarterback. There we go. We got ourselves a, a nice little pass there. All right, uh, let's go see. Okay, he's back in. Ziggy's back in. All right, that's cool. All right, we're gonna try a passing play. I, I'm not necessarily. Oh, let's see. That's the end of the first. Quarter. All right, so we made it to halftime. We're up by eight. We're feeling. We're feeling okay. We're feeling pretty good at this point. And we're gonna do the little halftime mini game. All right, so yeah, it's, it's fine. So essentially what we're trying to do is not die and murder the zombie refs that are coming to murder us. And if we score enough points, we're going to get a free resurrect. So if bad stuff happens again, or we lose like our quarterback or whomever, we'll be able to deal with it. Uh oh uh oh 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 i did it i did i didn't make enough i need 500 or more to get that free resurrect so i didn't get it it's, it's unfortunate i did run out of ammo and i couldn't figure out where the the shotgun ended up at all right so we're gonna try for another good return here with our boy devil fester let's see what he's got for us seems seems simple right just catch it run it back and don't die And I think we may have done it. One of the cool things with these demon guys is we can actually leap over stuff really well. Oh, look at this. All day, every day. Oh, 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 he could go. Oh, yeah, he went all the way. We got it. We got it. Get a good reach. Oh, the ref. No. They bribed the ref. How did they even do that? 
Oh no. How, but I, I hmm. I the home crowd isn't I don't showing, I don't know how we, we might be stuck. We might be stuck forever. Like I don't know how they bribe the ref on the the kick. Like I'm very confused by this. Are we just gonna be in perpetual penalty zone? Like I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, no. Oh no. How, how is this a thing? Ten-yard penalty for calling Martin Scorsese overrated. Um, this hasn't happened before. I obviously he's bribed. I know he's bribed. Can I, can I kill the ref on the way through? Uh oh. Alright, I'm gonna try to kill the ref on the way through. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. I got I gotta get taken down. I I had to get taken down. I couldn't I couldn't do anything else. I need to take the ref out. So at least we had good return. Maybe I should have gotten like right outside the It's fine. Alright, so we're gonna go with ref attack ourselves now. And yeah, he, he's done. He's done. He, he deserved that for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna beat up the big guys. Yep, so we just. I, I didn't read that. I'm sorry, guys and gals. Alright, let's see what our dirty tricks are here. We got Sonic Blast, we have Time Warp. Uh, QB rollout, why not? Alright, here we go. All right, Shreddy Von Hayden's gonna make it. Almost, almost another another. Oh gosh, they're murdering him. Another couple of inches there, we could have made it. All right, we're gonna go with a toss right. And it's first and ten. Oh, he, he got he got murdered a little bit, a little a little, a little bit of murder. Alright, we're going to go with the deep post. Go ahead. Shreddy! He made it! Yeah! Alright. So we're feeling pretty good at this point. Who's getting a scoring bonus? This guy! I can finally help my brother start that shoe line he's been dreaming about. There's no way that can go wrong. You tell him, Shreddy. Alright, once again. Obviously, obviously we're gonna run it in. We want those two points. We are a greedy QB sneak. I'm gonna go left instead of right this time. And there it is. Easy money. Easy money. Alien 17. I'm like Walmart, always open and like UPS. I only deliver. All right, so we're on the we're in the final quarter. We got to kick. We's going to kick. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Dying bones. Let's see. That's about the best we can do. Yep. Boop. That was not a kick you put on the resume. Is that guy's name Podunk? Getting some damage in there. Alright, we're gonna bribe the ref this time. Alright, Lizard King, what do you got for me, buddy? He just picked the receiver. Oh sick vicious! With the with the snatch, oh look at him! He just grabbed. Oh, that was sick. That's why his name is Sick Vicious. All right, what we got for dirty tricks? Sonic Blast. Let's do it. We got we got Shreddy Von Hayden ready to get this done. Now nah, we're throwing it to Crucifix McGee, whatever his name is over there. It's all right. We got it. They are not happy that we've tossed it to him. All right. Um, Death Wish. Let's see. Let's rip it right. Oh, QB sack, no. Oh, I, I did jump off. They just gave us... I, I injured my boy jumping off. Do we have any other dirty tricks up our sleeve? I think it's fine. Um, QB rollout. We're going to try that one again. 
Oh, that's not good. Oh! Oh, I did it! Shreddy Von Aiden! Look at him doing a little jig, doing a little jiving. Mm hmm. Well, we're almost done. That's good. There are two types of people in this world, but I'm the only one worth caring about. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Like, it is a tremendously huge amount of fun. I, I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's just, it's really cool. We're going to punch left on this one. We'll run play. And there it is. Easy. Easy salves. Spiking that metal ball. Oh, you think that was impressive? Wait until my pictures accidentally leak. I should have a reality show in no time. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting to intercept the ball. That was a, that was a very advantageous thing. Man, I'm bad at timing that. All right, we got him. And we're going to start dropping some elbows and throwing some uppercuts. All right, what do we got left? No, not special teams. Dirty tricks. Um, We do strawberry fields. Well, I I deflected it, so I mean that's something. All right, dirty tricks again. This time, let's go with the thunderclap. Oh, we got the oh god, we did it again. We did it again. Oh god. <sighs> I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! I can't. Ah, this is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I finally got the, the zap and the grab. I never, almost never get the fumbles. When they fumble, it's usually always them that gets it. I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. That felt great. Alright, so we murdered one of their guys. One of them's injured, another one's injured. And I think our entire roster's survived so far. I mean, this is actually kind of cool. Um, yeah, why not the Def Jam? Alright, Ziggy. And we nailed it. Two more points on the field. They can't, like, there's not enough time. I could literally go to sleep at this point, and they could not take me back. Alright. We'll kick right this time. Boom! Nailed it! Girl baboon could have kicked that ball finer. Yep, the first time you're talking about your wife, Rick. Nice. Get him, Lizard King. Get him. We injured somebody too. Cool. I think all of our dirty tricks are used up. We're gonna do suicide blitz. I don't know what that means exactly. Oh no. I thought I, I thought I grabbed it out of the air again. I did not. Oh, they're doing timeouts. Okay. Oh no. Well, we got we got some work done there, and we killed somebody else. Cletus Moonshine is gone. We're really starting to dwindle the numbers there. That was a bit painful, though. I'm not gonna lie. That was a bit painful. All right, balls out, blitz. Nailed it. Yeah. Get him, boys. The Lizard King. His mama always sent him to school with a sack lunch. I'm just picking up where she left off. <laughs> nice. All right. Last play, guys and gals. Can they do it? The answer is no. The answer is definitely no, but eh. We can go with the bump and stun, because why not? And that is it. Bye, Festus. Oh, gosh. Festus is murdering my boy. 
And we did it, ladies and gentlemen. Full Metal Mayhem are victorious in their first game of the season. You call these MVP awards, I call these doorsteps. Just another one on the pile. At least start making them out of gold so I can do something. Sorry. Didn't read quick, quick enough. Anyway, we beat the Orcs of Hazard. Good stuff. Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy till you're not happy. All right, cool. We won. The first win means so much to us, coach. Now get off, or now get your butt off the field before the ref finds out the check won't clear. All right, we just earned 5.5 million dollars and 143 experience points earned. We had absolutely no casualties, which is fantastic. Now, if you go ahead and you just, I, I also, by the way, guys, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but I highly recommend you use a controller. If you're going to play this, I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller to play this. But if you go ahead and you distribute automatically, it will put it all onto the different guys that have it. The experience is only earned, I believe, on people who actually did things in the match. So we're going to distribute it manually. I'm going to show you what it looks like. But I'll probably do all that stuff off camera. So if we take a look, our boy Ziggy Starburster, he has 17. And Mick Dagger managed to get himself 7. 30 from Shreddy Von Hayden. I told you our running backs are going to be real easy because running plays are much more simplistic. Really easy to gain experience with. Um, I find that our receivers a little less so. Also, I don't think Scary Lice was in the thing. i got to make sure I do substitutions correctly. Grimy Crucifix and Grief Lizards was uh, were the two that were in there. So i got to make sure I substitute in Scary Lice and any of the big guys that we brought into play. Alright, uh, it looks like our bruise receivers did nothing of note. Uh, and our guards all did a little bit of something there. So, it's not too, too bad. Now we'll take a look at our defense real quick. Let's see here. Our blitzer, Scary Garcia. He managed to get 5. Mean Joe Machine got 11, so he did quite a bit of work. And Grief Loon did some work there as well. Upchuck Scary, our enforcer. He got a little bit of experience. We got 20 from Sick Vicious for, I think he's the one that nailed both of the the interceptions. So he did really, really well. Purple Pain did some work as well. Our line bashers, Thrill Lynch Knot and Lizard King, the guy that I control most of the time on the defense side of things, uh, did a lot of work, got some experience. And our safeties, Malice. Malice got some stuff there. And then we'll look at the special teams. Our kicker didn't do anything, I guess. Nor did our punter. But our returner actually did because we actually made quite a few field goals. Not field goals, I'm sorry. Uh, touchdowns off of him. Yeah, we made field goals with him. We, we jumped through the the, uh, the goalposts with our boy there. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so... I, at this point, I don't, I don't know. Um... I guess we can up his intelligence. I suppose that's the thing that we can do. And then there's also a way. I think we just press right. Actually, I don't think. I think everything costs too much at this point. So you need more. You need like three or four to actually get the next. Anyway, we did well. We did really, really well for our first game there. Alright, so what I'm going to do before we finally end this, I will go back and distribute all the other experience and so on and so forth. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a player trade real quick. And I know this episode is going to run a bit long, but again, we did a lot of the explanatory stuff. It's going to flow a little bit easier moving forward, so be aware of that. I want a kicker that's going to be really, really, really decent. I don't like the Skelly Boys, though. I feel like... I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do that one. I'm gonna try the free agents. Maybe the free agents have a better kicker. They do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mortician uh, Slanderson. He's a legend. He is gonna be on my team. He's replacing uh, Dying Bones. Sorry, buddy. It's worth it to me. All right, we will still do the uh, the trade, and then that's gonna be it for the episode, guys and gals. Um. I feel like. I feel like we could probably get another one of these guys out there. But 
maybe we go with a line basher. Yeah, let's go with a line basher. Mm. Von Killer. We're not going to get rid of Lizard King. Uh, maybe we get rid of the Ox? Now we get rid of Bon, bon Shot. Yeah, he's gone. All right. And we'll give them a 2 million. They've accepted it. All right. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, for our very first game. Check back next week. Maybe I'll do it like uh, like football in general. Just Maybe we'll do it every Sunday or something. I'm sure football is more than just every Sunday. But maybe we'll just do it like every Sunday. We'll have a Mutant League football match. We'll play through the season. If you guys want to see more of it, if like people are really into this or something, I could do maybe a couple of games a week, whatever the case is. But I'm curious. Let me know your thoughts, guys and gals. I know this is really different than a lot of the stuff that I do cover. I'm always trying to branch out and find things that I find enjoyable and fun that I want to share with you guys and that I think you might enjoy. So without any further ado, I'm going to go to the standings. You can take a look at us over there on the left. We're the fourth one down with our one win. We're doing okay in our little our little division there. But yeah, that's Mutant, Mutant Football League. I almost said Mutant League Football which was a great game back in the day, by the way. Uh, Mutant Football League, in a nutshell, we're playing through a dynasty. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the game. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it will all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature. Seriously, do comment. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Not a lot like this, but some more of this. Plus tons of other stuff. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will... See you later. <laughs>